Another day, another day, another Jim Ryan fucking issue. And yes, I have my shirt off. I don't give a fuck. Right? Because I'm getting ready for work. And I see all this fucking news. And you know how YouTube is. You got to capitalize the fuck out of this. So, that being said, I want to tell you, if you like what you hear in the show, please follow me. Subscribe to me. Help! Help! I need help! Please help! Shit. Damn it. Let's get this shit popping. I, I made some notes when I was uh, uh, at the gym, right? So, a couple of things. Jim Schreier just came out basically, supposedly, unlocking or opening the gauntlet of bullshit that Sony has been doing. Stating that, okay, the last... This is that's not the first time Jason Schreier actually said some shit about Naughty Dog. Um, which, to be honest with you, I get it. I know what he's trying to do. He just wants, you know, the little guys to win, along with making the most sensationalist title ever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And even, he, he, he said some things, like 70% of the studio of Naughty Dog um, is basically, you know, they, they left. So, what is going on with this, right? A um, couple of different things, right? You must understand, when it comes to news and reports, reporters are designed to make sensational shit. They're designed to make that so you can click onto it, view it, open it, whatever the case is. That's what they're designed to do. You know, but I will say this. Um, there was, what was it, a couple of months ago, they said that the, the, the original creators of Ben Studios left. And according to Jason Stryer, he basically states that the reason why they left is because they thought they were going to be exalted to Naughty Dog and they didn't like what was going on. To me, I feel like that's kind of shitty of the managers at Ben Studios. Instead of actually managing, you just leave your studio behind. I, I don't really, that didn't sit well with me. But um, one of the things he said that is that Days Gone was canceled because it was pitched to him. I, I think people need to understand this. People forget they absolutely forget that their day, their reception for Days Gone was shitty. They said the story sucked. The game was mid. There were a lot of bugs. Consequently, uh, Cyberpunk was able to uh, avoid all of this shit because we know that people get paid and shit like that. But they said all of this shit, right? All of this shit. And um, I guess right after the developer, or right after the game was released, they went to um, uh, Sony to pitch it. And so he was like, no. I mean, why would you pitch it if you didn't think that the game was going to be successful? So that, that's what they did. That's what they did. Any business is going to see something that's not successful and be like, mm, no, nah, I think I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all complained about it. Y'all said it was buggy. Y'all said it was mid. You know, y'all said it was a poor story. So I don't understand on social media why so many people are in an uproar about this. Y'all didn't want the fucking game. I didn't want it. What are you mad about? However, this has happened before with Sony. With Demon Souls, they were trying to get Sony to publish that shit. And Sony was like, no. Uh, Uncharted, Sony said no to that too, originally. He, they said that that shit looks too cartoony. Make that shit realistic and try again. And that's how we got Uncharted. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Last of Us was pitched many different times before it came out. That's what happens. That's not anything new. This is why I'm saying the dude is like extra sensational. You know what I'm saying? So that's what is going on. What I believe has happened, right? And again, I already mentioned that shit. That I'm reading this shit as I'm going along. So I've already, I remember everything that I wanted. Um, but again... Things change. It's not that Ben Studios can't pitch it. And the funny thing is, I've actually spoken to some of the developers of Ben Studios on Twitter. When those guys left, he was like, well, and I forgot what his name was, but he was like, listen, it's in good hands. And they know exactly what makes Days Gone tick. You can probably find that shit on your own when you go to Twitter. So it's not like it's done. And on top of it, Jason Schreier didn't say that it was just done. He just basically said at the time of the first pitch, it was denied, which happens. This is why I'm saying that sensational bullshit, that's, that, that's the fuckery, right? Um, the same thing happened with, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Family Guy. Family Guy did poorly on Fox. And then it was constantly, this is what happens in business. And this is why you can't 
focus so much on the fucking company. I know why the outrage is happening. It's fanboyism. People are so pissed that this doesn't look good and then the Xbox are making fun of Sony fans and all the other bullshit. That's what's going on here. This is nothing to do with the, how they really genuinely feel. Because if you felt some type of way, then Days Gone would have been successful. Gravity Rush been, would have been successful. All those fucking, the puppeteer would have been fucking successful. Y'all niggas didn't want the fucking game. How about that? You didn't want it. Very few people wanted the game, but the people who was talking definitely didn't want it. And y'all thought y'all got, I thought the last of us had all these fucking awards. I thought they were good. I thought Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog, God, Naughty God. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Didn't y'all say that? Y'all don't want to, y'all don't want the first one? Fuck, man. Some of the shit, I just be wanting to roll my eyes, clean up my fucking head, though. Regardless of the matter, uh, Jason Fry goes on to say that um, Ben Studios was commissioned to make the uh, to help Naughty Dog out because again a lot of people left, you know that was one big issue. A lot of people left, and um, they needed help. And I would say Days Gone is similar as a zombie game, so that that it made sense. They kind of knew about how open worlds work, but it goes to show you the the issues that's in Naughty Dog right now, which I'll get into in just a bit. Um. But apparently, they didn't like that shake-up. They didn't want to work on a Last of Us game. And they asked Naughty Dog, or they asked Sony, I don't want to work on this. Take me off the project. Right? Which they then gave the uh, 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 Last of Us re uh, remake back to uh, Naughty Dog, which is coming from a small 35, uh, uh, a strong studio. They tried to say, we want to do more than just have a little studio here or do motion capture or help out people. Can we make our own game? Sony allowed for that remake to happen. And then they were like, yo, why is it eating up all this money? That's when they were like, oh, well, well the, the reason why it ate up all this money was because it's, the graphics need to be so good. And, and then Sony was like, nah, I'll give it back to the, uh, Naughty Dog, which that team was disbanded. Fine, whatever. It's a business situation. But people are saying that Sony is not out to make original games but fucking ben studios is making an original game that's what that's what the part of this leak is like come the fuck on i can't stand it i can't stand it point of the matter is days gone is not done is on hold you know what i'm saying because again with this covid and everything like that everything's in disarray you gotta be more careful with your money as any company or any person would be a little bit more comfort or, comf or careful with their money but they are making a new game. The other thing that Jason Schreier is basically stating is that Sony is on this fucking triple A title thing. But that's what the fuck y'all want. Didn't did you say that you wanted that? Didn't you say you wanted triple A titles? You didn't want no indie games? Then y'all don't y'all complain when Sony Sony does a state of play, y'all don't like it. Then y'all don't y'all complain? Where where's the big games at? That's that's what they're focused on. I, I just it irritates me every time I think about it, and it just it just ra it raises my blood pressure, right? So, again, that's what I believe has happened, right? That's what the Ben Studio situation, the Naughty Dog situation is. You got to ask yourself two questions, right? Why are they making a remake? So it boils down to two things. The remake is probably due to an HBO spec, the HBO the show that they're going to do. Right? And it's tied heavily to the, the Last of Us Part 1. Or, The Last of Us 2 didn't do so well. And they can't use that game due to all of the negative press uh, to bolster that, that show. So, they want to capitalize on the first game, which everybody loved. I thought it got 100, 280 awards. If it was so good, they wouldn't need a fucking remake. They're doing this shit because everybody that was bamboozled when they purchased The Last of Us Part 2 and didn't like it and was called incels, incels and all the other fucking shit that they called them, uh, uh, bigoted and stuff like that, they didn't like the fucking shit. That's what ended up happening, right? Or Naughty Dog trying to retcon the shit out of Joel and make him look even worse than what he is. One of the things is going on with that, that shit. But I already said this before, Ben Studios having to go over there and help out Naughty Dog when Naughty Dog is Naughty Guys themselves. And again, you got to understand, too, that um, what was the other shit that they said? Uh, they said that it was crunch, crunch, crunch. That's what Jason Schreier said about Naughty Dog, right? 
And everybody was like, oh, oh no, these developers, stuff like that. So, again, this is the situation that, that you're presented with. And what I personally believe is that The Last of Us 2 didn't do that well. And they need to have some kind of good press to kickstart that show and make sure that shit is successful. And it just looks like Sony is tying in, if they're doing another Uncharted, um, other departments of Sony, other pieces of Sony, to, to make Sony as a whole stronger. What's wrong with that? Any company's going to do that. You guys got to understand this. The quietness that Sony is doing, everybody is waiting for Sony to say something. And you know what happens? Because Sony is so quiet, the second they fucking cough, the instant <clears throat> everybody's going to be on them, the instant they clear their fucking throat. So this is actually positioning Sony in a good way, even though Sony needs to watch their fucking back in general. Like, everybody says Sony's being complacent. No, they're being careful, which is, yeah, you want to do risks. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just not do something. So that's 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 the situation. Uh, or be too careful. You know, you got to take some sort of risk. And Sony is trying to find a, the, 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 the balance there. But don't act like Sony is not making AAA titles, which you guys wanted in the fucking first place, right? Y'all don't want no little games. Y'all don't want Game Pass games. Y'all don't want fucking indie games. So that's what it is. That's what it is. We, Sony hasn't even said anything. And all these little bad things about the store and stuff like that. Oh, we closed down a 15-year-old store and I was going to use it. Or other shit that y'all talking about, right? Oh, God, I'm so sick of it. But that's why I, I just want to kind of run that by. Wait, wait till Sony says something. Because I'm pretty sure since it's silent, Sony's about to drop a fucking gauntlet. But Jason Schreier, he's doing what he's doing. He wants to make sure that people are going to read these stories and stuff like that because he has a job to do. Don't get that shit fucked up or twisted. That's what they're doing. I'm out of here. Don't forget to subscribe. Please help the channel.